again it's Francis welcome back to my channel thank you for being here uh, here we have yet another <laughs> another vinyl because we know that I, I do love it I hope you love it too um, today we've got an array of very very different colors for me um, we're gonna do um, another tree pour now I've been asking people what kind of colors to do um, and my dad said do <laughs> do one that looks like a black a, an old photo and I said what do you mean and so he said like you know I said do you mean black and white I could do it like with silvers and he said no no um sepia <laughs> okay I'm not sure if these are in fact sepia colors but they're all browns I figured that was that was close enough so we've got all kinds of different colors um we've also got gonna have a bit of gold but these are really if you know me at all you know that these are really unusual colors for me so I thought we'd give it a go anyway for dad so I hope that you like it dad you never know I've kind of got a mixture of different colors there's not that much in the way of um, uh, silicon in except for the one that I'm going to I'll use this one for the um, for the top layer uh, which will make all of the cells hopefully so I've done that one done that one done that one I haven't done this one this is a different dark dark brown oh it's a little bit chocolatey maybe I'm hungry <laughs> I don't know it might be <laughs> oh dear uh, and then I think I might, hmm. I was actually planning on doing, I've forgotten about that, so I haven't done it now, planning on doing kind of top and bottom, slightly different colors, but obviously I haven't done that now. So that's out of the window. Put a bit more red in the middle. I say red, a brownie red. Okay, so um, this is our uh, swiping. Um, paint. So this one's got the silicon oil and I'm using the Pebio silicon oil. Um, there's quite a bit in here so we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Oh it's a little bit lumpy. Okay see if that's enough. I can always put more to do the second side. So and we are off. Okay always at this point I go ah, like this and think actually you know what I think for my for this one I'm going to do a slightly different bottom I'm going to do this kind of color in the bottom I might wipe it actually properly I say color what am I talking about different um uh, this <laughs> swiping tool for the bottom and I was thinking it might make it slightly different in terms of layering so we're just going to go with it anyway and dad strikes me as a kind of a a willow man I think he, he likes he likes all trees really but he likes willows so I'm gonna I might do a bit willowy I might see what happens if I put that out as an idea. Okay, so we're getting some nice cells already. Um, and now we're going to go with a slightly bigger swiper. Is it called a swiper? Do we care? Not really, no. <laughs> yeah, that makes such a difference, doesn't it, to have a bigger... Um, oh, that's really pretty. Whoops, I'm leaking everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm going to clean that off for the other side. It's very messy today. Okay, actually really liking these colours, Dad. As everyone else is. Oh, I went over the top. And again. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa. 
quite messy. You can imagine what a messy little girl I was. There we go. Now we've got a few kind of lines here. I never really like that much, so we're going to see what happens if I just do that. Closes it up a bit, perhaps. Not really. There was an other idea that I had actually to do a mini forest, which would be a bit harder on such a small, um, unless I did like small trees, I could do that. There we go, I think that's enough swiping for now. Certainly enough mess. Okay, and then we're going to go into our um, formation of the tree. So what am I going to use for that? That is my question. I'm not sure who I'm asking. I might try this dark, dark brown. Do it very kind of realistic. <laughs> Say realistic. I'm going to use the, um, the the paint that I'm collecting here in my next pour. I'm going to... Oh, do you want to... Shall I tell you what I'm going to do? Huh? All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do something called a ribbon pour, which I haven't done before. So I'm going to give that a go. And that's what I'm going to use. Okay, I'm trying to remember that I'm doing a willow. And willows do that. I love a willow. So I hope everybody is doing well. This is, we're, I'm, we're still in lockdown when I'm taping this. This is lockdown number, I don't know, four, I think, three or four. Feels like 15. Don't know how everyone else is feeling. This is not the most fun, I think, that we've had in the world. But then on the other hand, it's not the worst either, I don't think. You know, there are lots of things to be said for what's going on. People are becoming, I think, certainly my family, we, we're, I think, closer than we have been because we've got, you know, we're looking after each other in a way we did before, but I don't know, it's slightly different. It's a bit different, isn't it, I guess. It's bound to be, really. Um, well, I'm not keen on that piece of might just swipe with this. Hmm. So now this white that I'm using is um, I'd run out of, of acrylic white so I had some um, of the house paint so I'm trying it and it looks it looks like it's been it's, it's worked all right and um, this is a really thin tree today let's make it slightly wider it's a young a young one not that keen on all this kind of yellowy at the top there So yeah, if anybody has any more ideas on colours, uh, please feel free to message um, and uh, we can see what we can do. I can always give it a go. Not sure how Dad's going to feel about this one. Hopefully he'll like it. I quite fancy doing a birch. There's so much in the way of intricate branches. <laughs> I'd be there for ages. So... 
yeah yeah let me know i'm always up for a request don't know if you can hear that there's a radio going on in the background because bear my puppy is sleeping and while he's sleeping <laughs> i just put the radio on him for him to keep him sort of make him know he's not on his own right this is actually not staying it's kind of pushing itself back over hmm I like the fact that it's quite bending over to the side. Hmm. It's quite gnarly. It's young and gnarly, that's unusual. I think I'm going to Sorry, I keep stop, stop I keep stopping talking. Um fiddle around with it a bit and then I'll kind of bring you in for a close up. But before I do, ta -da, bring my fire out. See if anything else comes up. At least I'm popping bubbles. Um golden it's a little bit more autumnal i think than um than anything else it's very very thin um tree part i think i might have a bit more of a play around with it and then i'll bring you in for a close-up okay see you in a moment okay so here's my close-up of my tree it's very orangey too orangey for crows so for those of you who are old enough to know that that old advert um, anyway, here it is with my tree for dad uh, and I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, please like, please. Oh, there's apparently there's a little button you can press which has a bell on it so that you can be notified. There's some really nice um, cells in here though. There's some really interesting colours. So we'll see how it dries. Um, and I put all my dry stuff on Instagram. So if you want to check me out on there, it's Francis underscore Brown underscore Art. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Keep safe, keep smiling and maybe do some art. OK, take care. Love you. Bye.